I haven't seen no application go to the foundation. That was one reason we moved from going south because we didn't couldn't absolutely we were hitting roadblocks every time we turned around was to go to the east side and at least get something where our most traffic is coming into Seward. I, I take for granted some of those, but a lot of traffic comes through there. I mean and that would be my recommendation is that you go to that next avenue which you just brought up about approaching the owners of some of that ground and then if they come up with a price and then put in an application to the foundation to support the project. Would the city even think about paying monthly bill for a sign? Unless the chamber would pay it. Did we check those out? I, I have one question, or one, one answer for you, sir. Um, we, we did go up and down the highway. We're, look, we're looking at, as a group, from what we thought, and, and it's just us, our opinion, uh, four miles east, and this, the, the spot we selected happens to be city property. It's in the flood zone. I don't think you're going to have any development in that specific area. You might have something built on the John Deere property, okay? I can't dispute that. But uh, to be, to be with, with all due respect, we disagree with your opinion on where you think it is that it's too close to the to town and not far enough out. We think it's just fine. In fact. Looking from the south, coming in from the south on Highway 15, we've actually considered where that water tank that got taken down by the by the, um, by the railroad tracks at the bottom of the hill. We actually considered that and thought that might not be too far out. Yeah, but the railroad wouldn't let you there. That's one of the reasons why I got moved. We had nothing to do with the railroad. It had to do with location. <laughs> okay, we're, we're just talking about location, and we don't think that being too far, that's, that's not far enough east. We think it's totally fine. We, and the, the aha effect that you get from the parade of flags, it just fits. It just fits. And I, and I challenge each one of you to go drive the highway. And knowing now, based on the graphic that you have, where we want to put that, um, it, it, you know, we, we disagree. That's, that's OK. Everybody has their choice. Of that's right. Yeah. Um, questions? Yes, John. But I would uh, uh, be my recommendation, and I would even make a motion um, that they choose, to, you know, go to the uh, owners of the property, properties, to see if they can get a variance and uh, take it to the next step of uh, possibly putting in a foundation application. And then, then if that gets denied, then come back. And you said variance, you think like an easement right. or some permission? Correct. We have a motion. Is there a second? To go east? Toward the other side, by the, in that area. You could have a motion. Is there a second? I'm not hearing a second. Motion fails. Any other questions or comments from the council? I'd like, like to move that we approve the location. Okay, we have a motion to approve second. this location. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Dean, did you want to say something? Well, I, I agree that just being within the city limits so you don't have to hook up to, to the rural electricity because we don't need that when we can acquire it here from the city. So I, I agree that closer is better for within the city limits. So I agree. And just so we're clear on this motion, on this location, um, in your administrative report, it says that the uh, request is to also include, they're asking the city to provide the electricity to the project to continue to pay the utility after construction and maintain the area around the sign, which includes mowing and trimming. All other funding will be raised by the group for the construction. Um, and so is your motion to include all of that, or is it just the location at this time? Include all of that. And is your second to include all of that? So, yeah. 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 I was doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of terms here in this letter. I mean, is this going to be an agreement of some sort that's going to be drafted by me? Or I work under this as an agreement? Or? Well, uh, we, I mean, we don't actually have like a legal description of this location. So we would have, I would assume the administration would need to work with you to figure out exactly 
in that area what we're talking about and they would probably need to have this in writing so this this would I would view this motion as what would be preliminary approval the, the city's intent to, to do this and then we would come back once we have the exact location nailed down and, and included in the language so again moving forward there's a record that says here's what the city agrees it will do so there's no question whether it's five years or 50 years from now um, of what that might be is that the understanding dick is that your understanding no. the second no. so we have a motion in the second to do everything i just said because i'm not going to repeat it <laughs> all right is there any further discussion though first so yes uh, i have a question on this so with the power there's no existing electricity up to that location yes there is i brought uh, larry asked him to keep we have power there. within 75 feet of this sign so we close with the, within and 75 LED feet. lighting, right, Clarence? Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be very minimal like usage. So with the, uh, I'm assuming there's going to be a cost for extending the electricity that 75 foot to where the sign's going to be yeah. minimal. Um, I'd say that would be the I'd, I'd go out on a limb and on the record if the if you know, we, we'll reimburse the city on the cost of digging the ditch. We'll get the we'll get the money raised. We put that on the record, and if they don't do it, I'll do it. Okay. All right. So just that wasn't clear in that. Yeah. So that's I just want to make sure. That's a good point. Any other discussion? We have a motion and a second. Be ready for your vote. Please just wave the votes. Voting in favor. Welcome back, Fritz, Miller, Schmidt, Ham, Singleton, Parsons. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Uh, item number eleven. This is a council member request. This is discussion and consideration of approval to submit a letter of intent to the Nebraska Department of Economic Development to apply for a grant in the amount of $375,000 from the Civic Community Center's financial fund for the purpose of collaboration on the Seward County Wellness Center project. Uh, Ellen, do you want to start with this? Thank you. Um, Shane is here as well tonight. This is a continuation of our discussion from the last meeting where we kind of got caught up in the wording of the request and, and felt that we weren't ready to move forward. Hopefully uh, this request solves that. Um, I also had uh, Bonnie include that sample of letter of intent. Bonnie has some concerns about it, so it would be probably need to be amended, but Shane is here to, to tell us exactly what it means, uh, the wording, and Bonnie might want to just uh, talk to us about your concerns. Yeah. Shane, do you want to approach the podium, please? And state your name and your address for the record. Shane Bach, 134 Maple Street, Seward. Um, Mr. Mayor, Council, thanks for having us back again. Um, um, really, our intent of the letter, the letter is a sample that we got from the uh, funds website. Um, so it, it's just a piece that we took right off of their website and, and modified it to our proposal here. Um, and our intent here is, again, not to create any uh, city burden or any burden on the taxpayers. Um, this is a grant that's available, but the city has to apply for it to for it to work. And um, so I think there's some ways that we can collaborate to make that happen, and, and that's what we're here to, to talk about tonight. So. And I think part of the concern that um, we had uh, at City Hall had to do with the second paragraph on that last sentence, actually the last line where it starts with total project costs, comma, and has a general accounting system in place to track project costs. Um, so since this is coming from the city, I think it's implied that the city would be the one doing the general accounting system and tracking those costs. And I think part of the concern was that the way we understand how this could potentially play out would be that you know, you know, we would not be the ones necessarily having the, right. the expenditures and so putting us in, so, so for us to agree to take on that tracking role would be, could be difficult for us to ensure that that would happen right. for that reason. So could you address that for yeah. us? Um, yeah, so if you recall when we did the uh, Independence Landing Project, we worked with uh, Seward County Bridges and they acted as our fiscal agent okay. to take on that responsibility as well as reporting of the grant. Um, that would be our intent again here okay to have them take on the responsibility because that's what they do. Um, Seward County Bridges has, has been in existence for quite some time. They're existing 501c3, and we're actually in talks with them uh, at this point to uh, put a professional services agreement together 
to uh, uh, work together on this, and they're going to act as our 501c3 until we're completely, uh, uh, our 501c3 is complete. So, so I guess our, my point is we, we may just need to tweak that language yeah, a little and bit. That's fine. Just to, if the council decides to move forward with this, just to clarify that there would be an accounting system in place, but we're not necessarily saying we would be the right. one doing that. And that would we'd be, be fine. fine. We'd okay. be fine with that modification. But that was, I think, our only real technical concern with the way that was dr currently drafted. Did you? Did anyone else? Yes. I, I was going to say uh, that same paragraph, the very first part of it. Do, do we want to say city staff is working, or just say the city is working? Mm -hmm. Because at this point in time, it's, it's Carl and I who have uh, volunteered to sit in on their meetings. I know Ellen's. She can't. She had enough meetings to go to, so she's not attending meetings. But Ellen, Ellen, and Dean are also involved in, in the outside bits of this. Also, it, it, I, I just prefer it, it reads the city instead of city staff. And yeah, we can sure make that adjustment. And uh, assuming there's no concern there, and we can adjust, we can address this issue as well. Um, so as far as um, substantively, though, just to remind the council that this is essentially indicating to the Department of Economic Development who maintains this or ministers this fund um, that this is a, not a binding agreement it just simply says we at this point intend to apply for the funding uh, down the road so it's more or less a heads up to them that there would be an application coming it doesn't require that we have to do an application it just says hey this is what we're thinking at this point um, that would come later i believe is that june when that would be june first it would be when that actual application would be um, required and even that application doesn't necessarily commit the city to doing the project that just basically is applying for a grant if awarded then the city would have an opportunity at that time to decide okay what's our timetable and if it looks like it's going to extend out more than a year typically they would the DED or sorry the Department of Development would request then that we would then basically refuse that <coughs> grant at that time and then reapply so we're not crossing over there basically fiscal years, more or less. So that, just so everyone understands kind of the, the procedural, um, the way this procedure is, is laid out. Did I misstate anything? No. Okay. So that's where we are. Are there any other questions or comments from the council this time? So with Carl? this, it's by April 1st, right? For this yeah, so the letter has to go to the, to the state before April, or on April 1st or before, and then that tells them that we're going to be submitting an application by June 1st and again it's not binding so if, if the city decides this is not what they want to do Please we just don't submit is that that leaves eight business days before that deadline is that enough for this from what your opinion for the city to work with them to get the draft letter this draft I'm guessing it could be done by tomorrow morning and whoever I right, love right. first. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> It'll be done about 15 minutes from now. Uh, it can be done relatively quickly. So there's no concern with the timeline? Um, unless there was anything substantive that the council had an issue with, I mean, this is just more or less clarifying what the city's intent is with this intent letter that we intend to apply for the intent for this. You should Fine. say one intent letter. <laughs> so, Thank uh, you. Yeah. So at this time, move for approval. Right. We have a motion for in the second. Is, is there any further discussion? And I know there's a people from the audience. Does anyone else want to comment on this item before we move on to the motion? None? Okay. So we have a motion. Sorry, who was the second? Uh, John was. Uh, motion in the second for approval. Please register your votes. Please display the votes. Fine, welcome back. Kurt Snow, our salesman, shouldn't hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, item number 12, consideration of a resolution approving supplement number one to the agreement with Fellsburg, Holt, and Yulvig for the Nebraska Department of Roads Project URB 6763 sub 1, that's the Carol K. Boulevard mm -hmm. Noise Study. John Hughes, would you like to take this? Uh, basically, this is a comment uh, <coughs> by the Federal Highway Commission for us to do a second noise study on, on the project, mainly because it was designed change due to the requirements of the federal highway. We had a, we had the actual entrance on to the elevator shifted to the west, to the east, I'm sorry, about 20 feet, and they said it was too close to the uh, natural ravine and the wetlands, and so we had to move it farther away, and uh, that totally was going to have another. You moved that further to the east, east or to the west? To the west. So closer to the west. Mm -hmm. By 20 feet. 
in the first study, you couldn't tell the difference between point eight or not. I'm saying, in my opinion, this is where government waste comes in. It's like, really, we got to do another study for 20 feet? I didn't think we needed the study to begin with. There's nothing out there. But, but I'm pretty sure we don't have a choice. If yeah. you move forward with this, unfortunately. Everyone, please write your statement. <laughs> <laughs> your frustration is duly noted. <laughs> Anyone else wish to comment on this? Yes, me. They need to do it for me so I can hear the cars. And, uh, <laughs> you want to hear them. So you just turn your hearing aid up. Fake America knows Is there any other questions or comments? Otherwise, I would ask for someone to introduce the resolution. I'll introduce the resolution. The resolution has been introduced and is designated as resolution number 2017-05. Would anyone like to move that this resolution be passed and adopted? Begrudgingly, yes. We have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Please register your votes. Please display the votes. Thank you, John. But don't go anywhere. Item 13, consideration of a resolution approving supplement number three to the agreement with J.O. Consulting Group Incorporated for the Nebraska Department of Roads Project URB 6763 Sub 1, Carroll K. Boulevard. John Hughes. Again, this is kind of a direct result from the, from the uh, addition of the noise study. It's, it's J.O.'s pre pre preparation of the report that gets submitted. All right. Any questions or comments on this item 13? Would anyone like to introduce this resolution? I'll introduce. The resolution <coughs> has been introduced and is designated as resolution number 2017-06. Would anyone like to move that this resolution be passed and adopted? Second. We have a motion and a second. Please register your vote. Please display the votes. Thank you, everyone. Welcome back. Okay. Thank you, John. Item 14, consideration of an ordinance amending Article 5, Section 6-502, relating to ice fishing and adding a new section of the Sur Municipal Code, <laughs> Municipal Code concerning additional rules and regulations for fishing. Kelly. Uh, this is just uh, an amendment to your fishing ordinance, which uh, uh, allows for uh, ice fishing designated by the city and posted at a certain area. And it also allows for the city to uh, create its own uh, further rules and regulations uh, if they want to uh, with respect to ice fishing. And this was modeled after the city of Lincoln's ordinance. Any questions or comments for Kelly? I'll introduce it. All right, one second. We have a ordinance. So, all right, John introduces the ordinance. An ordinance to amend Article 5, Section 6-502, Sub G, relating to ice fishing and to add for a new section 6 Dash 502H of the Seward Municipal Code concerning additional rules and regulations for fishing to provide for publication of this ordinance in pamphlet form to provide for a time when this ordinance shall take effect. This is ordinance. The ordinance has been read by title and is designated as ordinance number 2017-07. And the title is hereby approved. I need a motion to dispense with the statutory rule. So we have a motion. Is there a second? Sorry. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, please register your votes. Please display the votes. Again, this is ordinance number 2017-07. Would anyone like to move that this ordinance be passed and adopted as read? So we have a motion. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, the question is, shall ordinance number 2017-07 be finally passed and adopted? Please register your vote. Please display the votes. This is the final ordinance for this evening. Any one final motion to make this ordinance a uh, part of the permanent record? So, second. We have a motion and a second to register your votes. Please display the votes. All right, thank you. Item 15, consideration of awarding bids for one street sweeper to Rose Equipment. Mel, welcome. Yes. Yeah. Well, about six weeks ago, I came to you to request to go out for bids for a new sweeper. And I, that has happened. And I had three.
three bids, uh, the third bid, uh, they didn't uh, go by specifications until they got the specs, so they were thrown out. And Rose Equipment had two, uh, one new machine and one used machine. And going through the specs and everything, and they met all the specs that I needed. And um, uh, I'd like to award the bid to the new machine from Rose Equipment. I have Jim Ramey here from Rose Equipment. If you have any questions about the machine or whatever, but um, we have our old machine. It's going on its 13th season with it, and uh, still a good machine. Uh, I think it was time to get that get a new one, and it, while it's still a good resale value, I guess you want to trade in value on it. And um, they are offering $40,000 trade-in on that machine, so I ended up being about a $187,000 machine. So it's, I think it's a good deal, very good deal. All right, thanks, Mel. Are there any questions or comments from Mel regarding, uh, uh, regarding item 15? I would move for approval for the new sweeper from those equipment. We have a motion. We have a second. Is there any further discussion? And this does go on next year's budget, is that right? I was just talking about the financing hasn't been set up. We get quotes from the local, local financial banks. institutions. The plan is there's twenty five thousand dollars in the current budget to pay down the lease by twenty five thousand this year and then set it up on a five year lease arrangement with the Buy next it. payments due in the next budget year. Buy no payments. I didn't see the financing piece in here. What's the actual rate of interest we're paying on lease? Um, one, one bank was 3.1%. Uh, and the other is 2.75. 2.75. And it'll come to you hopefully at the next meeting when the paperwork is put together. With the amortization, it's just a little over 20000 So we, we've got enough in the budget to get the first payment. And when will be delivery? Well, we get to get everything approved tonight, probably 90 to 120 days. That's correct. Yeah. So kind of look maybe end of June, first of July, we can have it. Just in time for the fourth. Yeah. Clean up. He'll get her. <laughs> we do have a motion for approval, and we have a second. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, congratulations to your votes. Please display the votes. Thank you, Matt. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you. Thanks. Item 16, uh, Assistant Administrator Report. I believe it was in your packet. Are there any questions for Bonnie? Yeah. Um, getting busy, um, even though it's not summer, it's spring, but um, so getting busy with move ins and moves outs and all kinds of stuff. But the one thing I wanted to point out is the three year contract with Gabriel Bergen Ells for our auditing services. Um, it was up a year ago. We extended it for another year, hoping to hire a finance person, and it happened. So uh, I'll be going out with an RFP for a five-year contract for audit services. Just want to make sure you were aware of that. Any questions or comments? And Bonnie, when you get those, we'll pull the uh, yes. committee together. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's seeing no other. Oh, sorry, Dick. What, what, what's going on with the city administrator? Um, I, I sent you an email. I believe you saw you that. You were going to interview a second time. Yes, and we did do that. And he, um, we were trying to schedule a time to meet with the council. Um, he, his wife just had a baby yesterday, and apparently that's a big deal. So, <laughs> <laughs> so You're lucky I forgot to turn this off. <laughs> Someone kick over the video camera. And so um, the hope is that we're going to try and do something mid next week so the council has an opportunity to meet with him and, and ask questions and, and whatnot, and then also have a time for the employees as well as then the public at large. So um, let's, once we get that locked down, we're thinking Wednesday, but um, once we get that locked down, then we'll send another reminder to the council and hopefully. Um, you guys can, you know, you, you all can make it to that. Is that good? Do you buy that story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Yes, Dean. Okay. We have a motion and a second. We have a motion and a second. Please go to your votes. 
They just play the votes? Are there any future requests for council agenda items or administrative actions? Uh, I have a question for Kelly, so I don't know if we need to put something. So, in this process we're going through uh, uh, with the wellness center, there, there's, there's a piece that was presented at the last council meeting. I wasn't there, but a whole letter of items that were in there. One of them being a bonding scenario where uh, trust but verify have been told that they can use the city's bonding power, yet the whole uh, liability shifts to them on that. Uh, I know you and I chatted, you were doing some research. Or, I mean, are you, can you present something to the council on that, or can we have bond council come in and do that? Yeah, I've uh, been in discussions with Mike Rogers of Gilmore Bell, who's done some bond work for us in the past, and he's going to provide that letter of opinion. And I would expect to have it by the next meeting. Okay, thanks. So, are we good? I'm good. Yes, Ellen. I've sent you the email, but I'll just, it's getting late tonight. We don't have to take it up tonight. But the um, <coughs> Public Service Commission has requested Seward City and Seward County to uh, write a letter of support for an amended pipeline route that would take the pipeline, instead of feedback <coughs> on the existing pipeline, would take it around the well fields. So um, I have some information. We have people who uh, want to speak. We don't have to do this. Got 120 days, but just that it's coming up for us to consider that amended route and to submit a letter of, of uh, support. For How was that request made to the city? Bonnie and John Cruzy from the Wellhead Protection Committee, and um, I don't believe we have received any. One we have it yet. Yeah, that's my job. Oh, it's you're the one bringing it. To, okay, I was thinking the PSC was going to send no, us no. something. Okay, I have some documentation and and the request oh, from them gotcha. to language saying we would like input from the city and the county. So we don't have to do it tonight. We don't even talk about it, but it's coming up. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for the heads up, and we will add that to the list. Is there anything else? Seeing nothing else. Um, then I don't have any upcoming events to announce, so is there a motion to adjourn? Mm -hmm. Second. A motion and a second to register your vote. Please play the vote. Older news. Yes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.